hi friends so in this session what we are trying to look at as a problem is absorbing CSV files with different structures supposing we have a directory where uh, where we get staging dot load CSV to load into our staging environment and this uh, CSV file varies in structure what do we mean, what do we mean by that we mean that the columns alignment and the number of columns available in this file is different each time we are trying to load so to, to replicate uh, this scenario and how we can absorb this uh, structure file structure successfully into our SQL server table I have created two CSVs which is which is staging load.csv and staging load2.csv what is consistent in both these files is the delimiter that is this file is of CSV format that is comma separated value and second thing is the first row of each of these files is nothing but the column names so this is the problem statement that we have CSV files which ha uh, comma separated value files which are having column names as the first record or, or the first row but the structures are varying that is the number of columns and the alignment of columns varies each time and we are supposed to load this CSV file successfully into our SQL server how do we do that if you see here the th there are three columns and again here there are three uh, there are five columns now let's try to look at how we are we are going to absorb this so what I have here here is I have a SSIS package with variables I have declared three variables the first one is var CSV directory which points to the to the directory location of of the CSV file so uh, we are going to load it from CSV data load uh, with the CSV file the next is we have created two variables that is var delete SQL and var SQL let's try to take a look dig it out what do we have the first is is the one we are trying to build SQL so this is a C sharp script where we are reading the directory uh, the file from the directory and we are writing two variables that is var SQL and delete SQL let's see what we have in this script task so what we have here is we are using these uh, file directory from uh, uh, using the file from this directory path and secondly we are trying to build SQL now build SQL for what uh, we are trying to build SQL the first one is is to create a table so this is the script now let's just try to see what this SQL does uh, what is the variables value for each of them from this we'll just try to see what uh, is the variables value so okay I'm executing this task right so so it's sorry it's it's the file that it has not been able to find so the directory path let me keep this file here so this is the CSV that we are trying to load I'm extremely sorry so now what we try to do is execute C the first SQL that is the var SQL is nothing but the generate uh, table script so we are going to generate for each of the column names we will pass the first record or uh, first record has the column names so from there we will get we will generate a table create table script out of that the second is we have a delete statement which we are which we are going to use as a cleanup script right so again going back to this script we will see is what we see here is we are using a comma separated uh, and we are reading the first line 
so and based upon that based upon the first line we are we are we are we are creating the the creates we are generating the create script for the table and then we are also having a delete script because the first record is nothing but the column name so when there is a bulk insert happening it will also insert uh, the first column as data so I, i'll show it to you what what's what's uh, and and why so next is we are using this uh, as a variable var sql variable as as an input and then creating the table so that's all this is doing next is the bulk insert so basically the bulk insert is nothing but inserting the record from this path so if we use it once the table is created we can insert this value so let's just see i'll disable these this these two tasks and then run this right 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 now let's see what we have in the staging table if you look at we also got a record with employee name i mean because it treated the first record also as the, as the uh, valid data so it has absorbed it now we run this package we enable this i'm enabling this and now let's run this package all again right now if you look at we have a clean table now but the, but the schema of this table you know what uh, is is var car max that is var car 8000 that is maximum possible for each of these each of these columns so we also have added a little bit of intelligence and what is that the intelligence is we are trying to clean up the data type also at least for the ints and at least for the date uh, the date time column so so we'll just try to do that but this can backfire all as well so we are using is we are trying to see if they make searches on is numeric and is date column for each of we are going to we are trying to search each each column and count if all the data if there is any data uh, if all the data is of type int so if it is numeric we are Gen we are running a, a alter table script for altering the column data type and next one is also for is date so if all the columns if all the data for the column is actually for of a date type valid date type we are going to alter the table with the valid column so that's all and this is looping on all the columns of staging table that's all the script does now let's go back and run the entire package and see how it behaves i'm enabling this and running this entire package right now if i see the data is there additionally if i see the data type if you you can see the amp id and the department id has successful successfully been updated to int data type so that is just a, a additional clean up which can which can be done because if you want to further take this staging table into production with via some tra further transformation it will be easier for you to build some primary keys with an int on so that's that's where it, this comes in now let's try we haven't tried the other csv file so let's try to get load the next one and see if if the same script works right now let's run the next right so if we look at the staging table it's perfectly fine only the data cleanup or sorry the column cleanup has has backfired because it has treated the salary column also as as a date time so what we do here is 
let me disable the column cleanup and again run this perfect so if we see now the staging table has different five set of five columns and the five records so it could be any format I mean any format of your staging table we can completely build that based upon uh, this unique uh, SSIS transformations and, and tasks uh, I had this query from one of uh, my viewers on YouTube and, and she asked me uh, for a solution so using bulk insert and, and, and steps like these we can achieve uh, this so uh, I think it is helpful to you thank you